Hey everybody, I'm doing this vlogger style where I'm just going to hold it and freestyle it. Um, anyway, if this is your first video that you're watching of me, hi. Um, what I do in these videos that I'm going to be doing until the end of the week um, is that I just, I introduce myself in my first video as a person who stutters. And in these videos, they're usually pretty short. I try to keep it between three to four minutes. And I just talk about my struggle and my particular stutter and different things that happen and different things that I go through and feelings and stories involved. I mean, that's at least what I plan on doing. I'm only on day three, so we'll see what happens. And I just wanted to see if anybody else out there can relate to my particular stutter. Because everyone who has one, their stutter is unique to them. And everybody's going to have different things that you could relate to them about and other things that you totally cannot. Every, you know, just like no two people are alike, no two stutters are alike. Um, so that's sort of what I, oh my goodness, I'm such a mess today. Ignore me. <laughs> um, that's sort of what I am planning on doing with these videos. And what I wanted to talk today about is the element of surprise and how it has a big effect on my stutter. And I think a lot of people can relate to that. Um, anybody, I mean, on any spectrum of stutter, anyone can relate to that element of surprise. And what I mean by that is the not knowing exactly when or how it's going to come up is probably the worst part of it or i mean maybe not the worst but it's it's a big part of it where you can't exactly predict what word you're going to stutter on or what phrase you will i mean there are definitely some go-to words where you know that you're always going to stutter regardless and i mean very few times you won't but for the most part you can always rely on certain words like certain words are very reliable and you know that you're going to stutter on them like, for me, it's my name. For the most part. I mean, there are definitely times when I don't stutter on it, but I would say 92-93% of the time I definitely will stutter on my name. So, I, of course, I get nervous for that, and I don't like saying my name, and I'll try to avoid it as much as possible, which I'm trying to work on a little bit. But I know that I will stutter on it. But what I'm talking about, the element of surprise, is... Whenever I am having a conversation with somebody and I am just talking and I don't even anticipate getting into a block or getting caught on a word and all of a sudden it just hits me like in a moment and I'll, I'll have that moment of like, come on, are we serious right now? Like, where did you come from? Like, I usually I can feel it coming on. Like, I can feel the fear building up in me and that usually leads me to stutter on a word or on anything. But sometimes it just, there's no predicting exactly when it's going to come up. And that for me is really, really frustrating. And it's a little bit annoying. I mean, it's sort of like it just pops up and, you know, just wants to say hi. And just to remind me that I still have a stutter and that it's still there and very much present in my conversation and in my speech. So that's sort of what I mean by the element of surprise when it comes to stuttering. And the unpredictability of it can definitely be a little hard and, you know... A little frustrating so let me know what you guys think about it if you can relate to that and how the element of surprise plays a part in your stutter and i will see you tomorrow hopefully i'm going strong day three let's see what happens tomorrow all right bye everybody